This is a quick overview of the Automatic Action Center. One of the things that's almost certainly happened to you if you've ever used Modo is um, you've got the Automatic Action Center active and you've got the Scale tool active and you've gone to the center of the widget and click and drag to scale and oh, it's not scaled your object, it's moved the Action Center. That's really annoying. First thing you should know is this action is undoable, so you can go Control Z to bring your Action Center back and I'm just going to drop the tool. The second thing you should know is that if this has happened to you, you shouldn't really be using the Automatic Action Center anyway. It's not some kind of default, it is actually a special mode that you should only use when you need it. Um, so what you should actually do is have no Action Center selected. So I'm just going to click on Automatic again, you can see the tick's gone. So now there's no Action Center selected. If I activate the Scale tool again, um, I can just drag from the middle of the widget and it works exactly as you'd expect. So just remember that. I know when I first started using Modo, if I was in Origin or Local, I'd come out of them by selecting Automatic thinking that that was the right thing to do. It's not. Um, so you can either deselect it here in the menu or if you've got no tool selected, you can see on the left it tells you what action center you've got active. Just hit the escape key and it will drop it. So now there's no action center selected. Activate the scale tool, drag from the middle, no problem at all. So having established that, the next thing you're going to want to know is, well, how do you use the automatic action center? Well, if I activate the automatic action center and the scale tool, I'm just going to zoom in so it's a little bit clearer to see. What you have is in the center is this little yellow dot and if you drag that it will move the actual action center. But you see around it there is this blue circle that turns yellow when uh, the mouse is over it. And that is what you actually need to click and drag in order to um, scale your geometry. Let me just zoom back out. Now obviously this can be a little bit fiddly. Um, especially if your tool handles are quite small, it's quite hard to select that. But what you can do is use the plus and minus keys at the top of the keyboard. If you hit plus, it will increase the size of your widget. And now it's much easier to select and scale the correct part of the widget rather than the center. Now the next thing you're going to want to know is how do you control the position of the action center. So I'm just going to reactivate the automatic action center and the rotate tool. So it's positioned it in the middle of the mesh, but say I decide I actually don't want it in the middle of the mesh, I want it in the middle of this face. What I need to do is to look where the work plane is intersecting the middle of that face and just click there. And there you can see it's positioned the rotate tool there. So now this is where my rotate is going to center from. So let me just undo that. Um, but you've got to be careful with the work plane. So let me just activate the rotate tool again. As you can see here, and keep an eye down here as well, the work plane is in the x-axis at the moment, but as I tumble, it's going to flip into the z-axis. Now, if I'm not careful, and I, I think I'm clicking in the center of this face and positioning the, ro the uh, rotate tool there, I'm not. What I've done is I've intersected where I clicked on the geometry with where the work plane was, and it's not placed it where I thought it was because I wasn't paying attention to the work plane. So let me just click out here. So you have to be very careful and keep an eye on the work plane. So here if I click in the center there, I can see that this time the work plane is in the x-axis. It should work predictably, and it has. And you can also click at the top. So you could click on this edge, for instance, and it will position it at the center of the edge. Or you could position it about two-thirds of the way down the face, and again, that's totally predictable. But what isn't predictable is if the work plane is flipped and say I try and you know go back to the top of this edge, you can see it's put it where the work plane was intersecting the cube and not in the middle of that edge. Another way you can control the uh, position of the um, action center is by using snapping. So if I turn automatic action center on and activate the rotate tool and then I'm going to hit F11 to bring up my snapping dialog and turn snapping on and vertex on and now I don't need to worry so much about the work, what the work plane is doing because I can just click on this vertex and you can see it snapped there I can click on that vertex done exactly the same thing here same thing here same thing 
uh, bring up the snapping menu again you could do the same with edges so click on this edge put it in the middle of it and obviously do the same with polygon um, this is essentially the same as using the element action center but um, it's just a different way of doing the same thing Now the other thing that you might have noticed is um, as well as a central widget that allows you to move the position of the uh, action center there's this little blue square behind it. Now what that does is it allows you to change the angle at which the transform is going to take place. So if you drag this little square out you see you can get your rotate tool to work at this sort of arbitrary angle. Since the automatic action center is uh, very dependent on where the work plane is positioned, you can also use the work plane to help you control it. So um, if I just uh, use page down to lock the work plane and then let's bring it up a bit with page up so it's sort of three quarters of the way up this cube, and I activate the automatic action center and the rotate tool. See it's defaulted to be in the middle at zero, zero but then if I decide to click here you can see it's intersected the position of my work plane with where I clicked on that um, face so now I can do my transformation from here just undo that the other thing you can do is if you hit shift end to bring up the work plane properties um, you can rotate the, the work plane so that the tool handles will be aligned with it now if you're not sure where to rotate it let me just uh, show you very quickly on the widget. You can see this tells you what direction X is in, what direction Y is in, and what direction Z is in. So use that as a visual cue. So get back here, shift end, and I want to go in the X axis. So if I just spin that round, I can spin the work plane to you know, any kind of angle. Let's go for 45 degrees. And now, make sure my automatic action center is selected it is I activate the rotate tool you can see that the tool handles are aligned to the new work plane position finally another thing you should know is that uh, certain tools when they're activated have an action center automatically assigned to them so if I select the bend tool here you can see in the tool properties it's got action center auto 3d which means it's got the automatic action center assigned to it that means that um, if the work plane is in the correct axis which in this case is the x-axis and I click in the center of this polygon um, the bend tool is going to activate from there which in this case is exactly what I want um, but of course this means that you have to be pretty careful with the work plane placement so if you activate the bend tool again and uh, you know I flip in the viewport so I'm a bit careless and the work plane has flipped into the Z axis and now I click in my polygon it's not done at all what I wanted it's uh, offset itself because it put itself where the work plane was and uh, not where I was hoping it was going to be another thing you need to be aware of is sometimes at certain zoom levels let me just try and make sure I get this um, the work plane will offset itself from the um, from the origin or the world center and now if I click the bend tool and try and click in this polygon it's got this offset um, you've got to look out for that if it's catching you out you can use the uh, page up or page down keys pardon me get into the right axis to uh, lock your work plane and now if I just drop the tool activate it again it should be right and it is um, or just make sure you zoom around you know until you can see that your work plane has snapped back to the world center drop the tool activate it again and now it's done what I was hoping it was going to do so just be aware that when you're using the automatic action center that it needs to always intersect between whatever piece of geometry you've clicked on and the work plane okay hope you found this uh, little tutorial useful and thank you very much for watching